Now let's set up the Multimatic 200 for the MIG process to weld steel using 100% CO2 shielding gas. A parameter chart and setup guide are inside the side door if you have setup questions. First, make sure your machine is powered off. Open the side door, then connect the MIG gun into the drive casting in the front of the machine. Flat areas at the end of the connection will help you properly index the gun so you can slide it completely into the casting. Make sure your gun is completely seated in the drive assembly to ensure adequate shielding gas coverage. Tighten the gun connection to the receptacle with a threaded side knob. Then, connect the control cable to the four pin connection. Twist the collar to tighten. Then secure the cable to keep it out of the way of the internal drive components. While the machine is still off, plug the drive lead into the positive receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Next, insert the work cable into the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Now the machine is set to DCEP or electrode positive. Connect the free end of the gas hose to the MIG gas solenoid located on the back panel of the Multimatic 200. Tighten with a wrench. Note, since you are using 100% CO2, your Multimatic 200 will require a different regulator than the standard model provided with the machine. Consult your local welding distributor for the proper regulator. Next, install the drive roll. First, read the stamp facing outward on the drive roll to make sure your drive roll groove matches the wire diameter you're using. Then, simply release the pressure lever, push the drive roll in, and turn it 90 degrees. Next, Feed the wire through the inlet guide in the wire case and close the pressure lever. Note, the Multimatic 200 is designed to feed wire from the bottom of the spool. Select your process by choosing MIG Steel C100 on the process selection knob on the control panel. Prepare the gun by removing the gun nozzle and contact tip. Then turn your machine on. Now. Hold the trigger of the gun and feed out wire until it is visible. Reinstall the contact tip and the nozzle, making sure you have the proper contact tip for the wire diameter you're using. Finally, check the drive roll pressure to ensure a trouble-free weld. Place your gun tip over an insulated surface like this wood block and feed the wire until it feeds consistently and curls on the wood without slipping. Adjust the tension as needed. Snip the wire off, then close and latch the side door. Finally, select the wire diameter and material thickness if you're using the Auto Set Elite feature, or voltage and wire feed speed if you're using the manual mode to dial in your welding parameters. Setting up your Multimatic 200 using 100% CO2 to weld steel is as simple as that.